hot diggity dog. This place is magnificent. Right off the bat, this movie was an absolute delight to watch, and I had a really good time. For a two and a half hour movie, it went by very, very quickly. And if you haven't already, go and watch this movie before everyone on Letterboxd, Twitter, yes, I still call it Twitter, start to say that it is extremely overrated. <coughs> Plot of the movie. Following up immediately after the first movie, Paul continues his quest for revenge against the Harkonnens and uses the Fremen for his genocidal quest. And he also develops his relationship with Cheney, and Zendaya has a lot more to do in this movie. The Good. For those unaware, the book by Frank Herbert is mainly themed by the idea that we should be wary of charismatic leaders and prophesized religious icons. The movie conveys that very well through dialogue and through character interaction. For example, Paul's mum Jessica talks about the Bene Gesserit planting the seeds of prophecy years ago in order to manipulate the Fremen. Even Paul doesn't like the idea of being this chosen one figure, and when he can see the future, he sees what happens and tries to stop it, but alas, he cannot. That's right, people. Paul is not really a goody good guy. He fucks up a lot of shit, which we may see if they make... Uh, Jude Messiah movie. The movie itself looks spectacular. Well, spectacular for just being a desert, the whole movie basically. And I love the juxtaposition. There you go, Jack. I use the word juxtaposition just like everyone else does in every other review. The juxtaposition of the two worlds. Dune, all desert and orange with Geedy Prime, which is shown to be a lot more drowned out in color and almost purely black and white due to the sun that's there. I love that look. Very nice. The cast in the movie does a great job. In particular, Timothy Charlemagne and Austin Butler. They do a fantastic job. Javier Bardem perfectly plays Paul's hype man as Stilgar. This one also has a lot more action scenes compared to the previous movie. They are all shot and choreographed very, very well. I know a complaint with the last movie for a lot of people is there wasn't much action, but if the lack of action in the previous movie was an issue for you, then this one is definitely an improvement. The bad, I don't have too many issues with the movie. One thing, Christopher Walken feels miscast as the Emperor. Like, he's just Christopher Walken in space. But yeah, I don't really buy him as the Emperor. Too bad. Other than that, I, I can't really say that this is bad, but it's not a perfect adaptation of the book. Like, it's really, really close. And I'm sure there are book purists out there that will dislike the movie just because it changes a few things, particularly with Chaney and Paul's sister, Alia, who isn't even really in the movie, and things that Alia was supposed to do in the movie that Paul does instead. That's just a couple of things, but there are some other things that have changed in the movie, but this is an adaptation. They should do things differently, and I think the changes in the movie fit the movie very well. Do I recommend the movie? Both of these Dune movies pretty much feel like Game of Thrones in space, which is a good thing. I had a great time with the movie, and I really do encourage you to go and see it. And I also encourage Denny Villeneuve to only direct sci-fi movies in the future. Thank you very much, Denny. So, even if I recommend the movie or not, you should see the movie for yourself and come up with your own opinion. You can comment your opinions in the comment section down below, or let me know how my opinion is wrong. Thank you for checking out my little channel. If you enjoyed the video, you can like the video or dislike the video, subscribe, and check out my other videos and social medias. There are links all around the place. As always, more videos to come. Have a good one.